So here's my workflow when I export stuff. I come over to share. Instead of just export, instead of going to iTunes, instead of going straight to YouTube, I'll export using QuickTime. And then just match my settings, export it as an MPEG-4, and then I usually go to options. Make sure it's MP4 here as well. We want to make sure the video format is H.264. That's going to give us the highest quality for the smallest file size. We can choose our size here. If you're going to YouTube and you have the pixels, 1920 by 1080 is 1080p. That's HD. This is a really small bit rate. So if you do like 3000, that would be kind of standard. If you went up like to 9000, that's definitely going to be HD. So I'll kind of split the difference into maybe 6000. So it should still look pretty high definition. Frame rate, we can actually change it as current. That way you don't have to deal with that. And then just automatic keyframe. Video options, we shouldn't have to worry too much about it. If you do multi-pass, it'll just run through it twice. Audio, I like AAC. If you do the H.264, it forces AAC. I'll usually bump this up to 256. Definitely stereo, 44.1 is okay, 44.8 doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, and either better or best, doesn't matter too much with that. So those are my settings when I save videos, when I export them out of iMovie. Quick time, stop.